Good day everyone, I'm Taj. I hold a master's degree in information technology network security. I'm currently working as a security SOC analyst with a cyber security firm here in Australia. I was not specific about any particular pathway in cyber security. I explored everything from red to blue, GRC, differ, OSINT and purple teaming. There were multiple challenges in any of those choices. I interviewed for one role that was for a blue team role and was hired. What excited me about the blue team though was the defending concepts, being able to work in different client environments along with a lot of different uh, platforms and tools. There were too many challenges to begin with, uh, not knowing where to start, who to talk with, which training or boot camp to join, where to find an internship and finally do I even have what it takes. I didn't know how to code and I had this thought about how would I be working in cyber security without knowing how to build anyway. The Let's Defend was hands on the best platform that I have to thank for uh, because it had everything related to blue teaming in a very simple interface and the challenges of um, you know the various seam phishing and malware analysis exposed to me a lot of different technologies and uh, showed me how things are being done in the blue teaming. There is on-job training for any job out there. Each company and organization has a different way of doing things. And since we are talking about entry-level roles for professionals, I would say hands-on experience is very valuable. With training platforms like Let's Defend, Range Force, and others, it is absolutely possible to get hands-on training. Home Labs was a secret ingredient to me. And if you develop a home lab and include some sort of seam tools in it, a, a malware information sharing platform, or even an EDR solution, um, this would be very valuable and a lot of the interviewers and hiring managers would be impressed by what you have done in the home lab environment by yourself. Tax, uh, Mastering Your Cybersecurity Career and Christopher Fulon's book, develop your cybersecurity career. These were two books that helped me. I also used to watch videos from David Bombal, Network Chuck, Gerard Oja, and Heath Adams every day. And these videos sometimes took me uh, two, two, three days to finish because it was sort of my morning routine to watch these videos over a cup of coffee uh, while driving to work. They would work in many ways for me they would be motivating me they would also keep my aim fixed on cyber security i believe that it's important to never lose sight of what you actually set out to achieve regardless of the turns that you had to take along the way i approached a lot of people to find out if they knew something about in it jobs or cyber security it was a hit and miss kind of a thing um, most of those uh, conversations would lead to dead ends. However, LinkedIn changed that networking for me. I connected with many professionals in the industry. I followed a lot of different organizations and companies. And uh, when I, I thought I was ready to actually have conversations with people about cybersecurity, I then joined Discord servers. After that initial pivoting, I uh, approached Josh Mason of Cyber Supply Drop. To volunteer and then I also met my mentor Joseph and the rest of the pieces started falling afterwards. He approached a lot of people to find out if they knew something about in IT jobs or cyber security. It was a hit and miss kind of a thing. Um, most of those uh, conversations would lead to dead ends. However, LinkedIn changed that networking for me. I connected with many professionals in the industry I followed a lot of different organizations and companies and uh, when I, I thought I was ready to actually have conversations with people about cybersecurity, I then joined Discord servers. After that initial pivoting, I uh, approached Josh Mason of Cyber Supply Drop to volunteer and then I also met my mentor Joseph 
and the rest of the pieces started falling afterwards. If I could do something different going back in time, I would probably start my journey in cybersecurity by reading a self-help book called How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. Uh, I believe uh, you worry a lot about things that you think are hard or unknown, but as time goes by, as you do all the things that are required, it would eventually turn out to be the best. And that would lead you to somewhere along the line where you would find yourself confident in doing uh, what's necessary. I would advise anyone who is not knowing where to start in this way is just get started somewhere. And, um, you know, there's a saying from Art of War, never venture, never win. You know, you got to start somewhere, anywhere, you got to speak to someone, anyone, reach out to organizations and professionals on LinkedIn, Discord servers, even Twitter. Uh, there are many professionals in cybersecurity who are willing to help others and attend webinars from industry vendors, IC Square, or you know the governing bodies of certifications attend those webinars as well join some discord servers you don't have to ponder about the existential question of do you choose blue teaming side or red teaming side right now cyber security is very diverse it takes time to understand everything try understanding what it is all about what is nist what is iso 27001 what is soc 2 you'll figure out what to do next and you to have belief in yourself that you don't need to be an exceptional coder or a programmer even to be working in cyber security my heart goes out to you guys who are you know trying to break into the industry i was at a similar place uh, it took about two years for me um, it was also because i was still in the duration of my course i was doing my masters but then again that grinding of about two years uh, opens um, you know new opportunities for you and you would know what to do once you get that job down and you'd have a profile built that would sound impressive and look impressive for any potential hiring managers and yeah i wish you guys all the best and hopefully someone finds this helpful thank you let's defend for giving me the opportunity to share with the world out there and good luck. Thank you.